जय माता जय गुरुदेव गुरुजी, जी सोशलाइजिंग डाइल्यूट आवर स्पिरिचुअल क्वेश्चन स्पिरिचुअल क्वेश्चन शुड नॉट गेट डाइल्यूटेड द मोमेंट वी आर स्टार्टेड ब्रीथिंग द स्पिरिचुअल क्वेश्चन स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग and this spiritual quotient which increases not periodically constantly and this constant quotient of spirituality goes on and on till our last breath so what do you do simple and this our saints sages our forefathers have called this spiritual quotient as consciousness so the spiritual term is consciousness in other words it is also called in other languages as chaitanya so the chaitanya quotient is constant till the time we take the last breath in our life there are many instances suddenly we find that our consciousness has dwindled this kind of a thing happens to us when we are not well when we are not well in our health we are not good in our health it is the time when we are pumped in by advocating what we call medicine to our body now when this chaitanya or consciousness reduces then we have lot of problems ailments the body the ailments in the body the ailments with our nerves the ailments of our own energy levels our lung capacity will come down there are so many reasons where with an ailment there are some kind of a normal way of life is affected so do we don't feel very healthy so when we don't feel healthy we feel we are not conscious to our health all kinds of ailments start possessing us there is a kind of a disposition of our body regarding in terms of health so this is another thing so what happens spirituality maintains the level of our consciousness and it is this consciousness which has its own impact on our very being itself so we see our being is affected so our mood gets affected lot of worries affect our moods so what does this mood define the mood defines our mental energy and this mental energy has a kind of an indirect expression of the energy in our consciousness so either at that time the consciousness acts or the consciousness depletes this is very important for most of you to understand so socializing does it reduce the spiritual culture so what do you mean by reducing the spiritual culture anything which affects our consciousness is or reduces so either it increases or reduces 
so if your spiritual culture is along with a group of friends socializing partying and stuff like that definitely it depends upon whom are you partying with the person whom you are partying with do they have that kind of a spiritual culture so what happens that spiritual culture in the yogic terminology is called as sanskar or samskara this sanskar has a direct impact on your consciousness how is it so why is it so it is that consciousness which pertains which adds to our social culture which adds to everybody's spiritual culture in fact it acts in the whole room itself so if the whole room is filled with that kind of a spiritual energy then anybody who comes into that arena or that area then automatically they find that their spiritual culture is given a boost for example when you go to a temple there is a lot of friends going to a temple taking prasad taking mangalarti taking everything putting into the do- donation box it for charity all that goes on imbibing your spiritual culture so now why do we do that and that sanskar and that sanskar is a plus 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 point so what happens it adds those kinds of an extra points into your consciousness so in what happens when that adds points to your consciousness your consciousness expands so the whole area of your friendship or amongst all your friends in that kind of a ambit then automatically the sanskar level the evolution level the spiritual culture increases in a in leaps and bounds this is very important thing for you to understand this so so you have to have that kind of a spiritual culture that sanskar and with this quotient in mind you have to understand what type of a friends you meet how you are basically and for that we don't know what kind of a friends we keep meeting every day so what we do we do and increase our spiritual sanskar in such a level that by a jap or by doing sadhana automatically the quotient of our spiritual evolution our sanskar level goes up very very high so that and this spiritual sanskar gives you that kind of a vibrations normally if you are going to shopping alone if you are habit of involving somebody to go along to accompany you in a kind of a shopping spree then automatically your consciousness gets completely diluted because of that level of a desire which comes up see spiritual sanskar gives you the proper sanskar the proper culture to make you understand how much is in required how much is in excess how much which is not required so you cannot you cannot splurge why you should not splurge it's your money it is your right you have got the do, to do everything right but you have to understand if the vibration the sanskar is not correct so the energy of your consciousness keeps going down and down then you have to take care then there is a minimum level so let us say a minimum level is 
So 20% and below if you go down, then what happens? There is an abrasion in your mental level. So your energy level has to be proper for your mind level to perform perfectly. So without that kind of a dispassion, without that kind of an intellectual propensity, with that kind of an intellectual culture, you will start reducing the mental energy of yours. So you find very, very energy depleted in your maneuver, in your way when you go towards shopping. So what happens is, a uh, shopping means there is already a desire imbibed in you. So more the desire, more the trouble comes you, the trouble comes you when the minimum conscious level or the consciousness level comes down. When it goes below 20%, then all kinds of a karma starts getting, of, has an effect, starts an effect on you and this effect will have a detrimental effect on your brain and your body as well as in your consciousness so that you will have that kind of a depletion of the mental, the physical and the moral energy because you feel extremely tired. Not only fatigued out, mental fatigue starts creeping in. So your mental consciousness is highly down to the dumps. So this is one thing you have to take in mind. Okay? Chai Mata. <laughs>